With this done, let's move to the keyboard avoiding component itself. So under the components directory where it's located, we want to create another directory for containers. And since the keyboard avoiding container is a container, we'll move it into the directory. Now this component is a JS component, so we have to rename it to have the TypeScript extension. So we go to rename and change the extension here to .tsx. Now in this containers directory, we need some types as well. So we'll create a new file for the types. And then to help with the imports, we'll create an index file in the components directory itself. So we'll create an index.tsx file. Yeah. In this file, we'll import the keyboard avoiding container. Like so. And then we export it in an object. Just like so. With this done, we can go to the home component and import our keyboard avoiding container properly. So now we can get rid of the import here and import the keyboard avoiding container from the components. With this done, we have one more issue to deal with here, but we can now refresh our app with no issues. Next, we want to create some types for the keyboard avoiding container. So back in the containers directory, we visit the types file. Over here, we create and export the type for keyboard avoiding container. So we export the type for keyboard avoiding container props. This would be an object as well. Now over here, we want to state all the properties that the keyboard avoiding container will be expecting. So all these properties here will be stated there and their types will be provided. So starting with the children, you can copy the children here and paste it in the object. Now for this property, it will be a React node and that type can be gotten from React. So at the top, we import React node from React. Once we've done that, we can supply the type to the children, like so. The next property we have here is the style. So we pass the style property here as well. Now for the style property, we first need to state that it's a style property. So we import style prop from React Native. So we import style prop from React Native. Yeah. And then we can assign the style prop to the style. Now we are not done here. This also expects an argument, and the argument should make it clear the kind of styles we are expecting. Now for our container, we are expecting some view styles. So let's import view style from React Native. Once we have it like so, we can pass it to the style prop. So we pass view style to the style prop like so. Checking our component again, the next thing we have is the background color. So we add the background color to our properties. Now this background color will always receive a color. So for that type, we can import color value from React Native. Like so. And then we can assign the color value to the background. Now on the list, the next thing we have is the header available. So I can copy the name here and add it to the types. Now for this, we expect it to be either true or false. So that's a Boolean. So we state the type as Boolean. Now with all our properties stated like so, the only property we always require is the children property and all the rest are optional. So we can make them optional by adding the question mark. So we add a question mark here, another one to the background color, and the last one to the header available. With that done, 
we can save it here and then back on the keyboard avoiding container page we have to import the type so at the top we import the keyboard avoiding props like so from the types once we have it like so to apply it let's import the function component so we import function component from react now at the point of creating the function we pass the function component as the return type and then we have to pass the keyboard avoiding container props now once we pass it observe what happens to the error we have here so we pass the keyboard avoiding container props to the function and we can see that immediately the error we have here disappears so meaning by just passing the type TypeScript is fine and happy with our code so we are good now at this point we've basically changed all we need to change here and we can start benefiting from TypeScript so for instance if I go to our home screen and while using the keyboard avoiding container I forget and pass a weird property like let's say I pass flex equals 1 it will give me a warning that flex is not an appropriate property and also if I get rid of this and I hit control space bar I can get a list of all the properties that are acceptable by our component all the code and changes we've made will be available for download to my patrons using the link in the description please leave a like on the video if it helped you and I'll see you in the next one